A man in LA was trying to assist National Guard when they arrested him and booked him on assault weapon charges. Let's talk about what happened and how you can protect yourself today. Before we get going, I want to say thank you to both Carne and Omar. You guys are very much appreciated. Thank you for being as part of the Patreon, and I am happy to have the support, and I hope that you can continue to gain benefit from watching my content. Thank you to everyone that likes, comments, subscribes. Thank you to everyone on the Patreon. So let's get into it. So a guy who you may know from following on Instagram or whatnot, he's a fairly decent sized influencer on Instagram. He's got around 50, 50K subscribers. He was booked, and here is the tweet that I saw from Fox LA. Suspect in military apparel taken into custody with assault weapon charges. Sources tell us 31-year-old Greg Wong was arrested at 1.30 a.m. in the downtown LA posing as a National Guard member. There's... <laughs> There's concern he was planning an attack. Okay, so there's a few things that are absolutely sensational and ridiculous about this. The guy definitely wasn't planning on attacking anyone. He was stupid and did a lot of dumb things, but let's talk about really what happened and why I think it was a horrible decision on his part. We'll know more when things come out, but ultimately I think this guy up a lot of the steps along the way, and I think that you guys should try to avoid making similar mistakes. He went out in full kit, and tried to approach National Guard members. He himself is not a member of the National Guard. He is a veteran, but he is not a member of the National Guard. And he then tried to offer them assistance. These guys did not know who he was. Apparently, I've heard that he Ubered there with night vision goggles and full kit. And now, yeah, I'm wearing full kit right now in the comfort of my own home, but that's a little bit different than going out to talk to the National Guard whose job it is to arrest and control the population and thinking that you were going to be just brought in like one of their own? I don't know why this guy thought it was a good idea. And in addition to that, he clearly understands what is and is not legal in the state of California. Yes, we all disagree with the assault weapon ban and the types of guns being restricted. However, if you're going to choose to break the law, you need to understand that there will be consequences for it if you get caught. I'm a firm believer in, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I'm not going to tell you to follow the law. I'll teach you what the law is and kind of what you can do to best follow it if you choose so. And I've even talked about how to not comply with the law in the safest way possible. This right here was every step of the way stupid. He was breaking the law by being out past curfew. He was breaking the law by open carrying a firearm in California. He was breaking the law by having an assault weapon in the state of California. He then did all those things while going up to the National Guard, who are essentially the police. I don't even know if I need to say anything else. That's really all there is. You did a lot of stupid things and you played stupid games and you won a stupid prize. If you are in a position where you need to defend yourself from other people or defend your property from other people, please, for the love of God, have the ability to either have your gun be compliant while using it or to quickly convert it to a compliant configuration. If you get caught having an illegal assault weapon in the state of California, you're rolling the dice whether or not, one, you're going to get caught, and two, that the police will actually care that you're not a bad person. He's already being painted as a potential mass shooter or an antagonist or instigator, which is just... I understand where they're coming from, honestly, because this guy did everything possible that he could have to be painted in a bad light. I want to say thank you to the people that brought this to my attention as part of the uh, certain Facebook group with Asian people in it that is uh, secretive and subtle, I guess. I'm not going to give it away, but they knew who they are. Thank you to everyone that showed me this. Thank you to everyone that brought it to my attention. Just, it's one of those things where we need to be aware that you can still get caught for breaking the law, even if they are unjust laws in times like this. Because we already agree, I would assume, that the police are there to not help you. At the very least, they're not going to be providing you assistance. If you go out of your way to engage with police with firearms that are not legal in an anti-gun county, what do you expect to happen? If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. If we get more information about this or if there's something that we can do in the future, we'll figure it out. We'll go from there. But as of right now, I just think this was a boneheaded move on that guy's part. 
Yes, I obviously disagree with the assault weapon ban laws, and this is another example of the assault weapon ban laws hurting innocent people, but don't be stupid. That's really all there is to it. As always, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous, peace.